Okay, welcome to the Minnesota Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions that are happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. Uh, and lastly, this presentation is being recorded, and that recording will be available within about a week at strivescan.com slash Minnesota. And I'd like to turn it over to our presenters now, starting with Earlham College. Awesome. Thank you, Andy. Let me share my screen with everybody. Okay, you can start. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for coming in to, or this evening to hear about all these wonderful colleges. I'm here to represent Earlham. So we just jump right into it. So Earlham is a small liberal arts school located in Richmond, Indiana. Um, one of our well-known things is we do have really talented faculty and dedicated staff members. You're getting that one-on-one -on -one attention um, from a kind of a smaller classroom setting. Um, we were founded by Quakers in 1847. You don't have to be Quaker affiliated to come here, <laughs> um, but we still have kind of the principles and practices of a Quaker faith just embedded in the you know classroom environment, campus traditions, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, Earlham is also well known internationally, so actually 20% of our student population is international students. Um, so we have a really strong international kind of population even on our campus, and we have really great study abroad opportunities, plenty of internships abroad, anything like that to give you more of a global influence individually as well. So we do have over 40 different majors and minors to choose from. Um, and since we are liberal arts, you get a little bit of taste of everything. Um, you'll get to dip your toe into all different kinds of different areas, whether that's social science, lab science, humanities, um, fine arts, all that good stuff. We have your kind of uh, majors that most colleges and universities do have, like biology, psychology, mathematics, arts, all that good stuff. Um, but there are some unique ones you can get on a smaller classroom setting, like environmental sustainability is a really popular one. We have Japanese as a major um, with a really great study abroad program for our Japanese majors, um, peace, peace and global studies, um, quality science, anything like that. So you're getting a little bit more specific kind of areas that some students really enjoy as well. Um, we do, on average, have 13 students in our major classes, which is a nine to one student to facu faculty ratio, um, which a lot of students really do enjoy, whether you're coming from a larger public school and you're wanting a more like intimate, smaller classroom feeling, or you're already in a kind of smaller classroom wanting your know, smaller school wanting us to continue that kind of small classroom setting as well. Um, a really fun fact, um, most of our professors go by their first names. It kind of goes back to the Quaker elements of the school. Um, Quakers don't believe in the theory of hierarchy. So it allows our students to become more open, um, you know, to have those deep conversations without that hierarchical figure above them. And then Earlham usually does rank top 10 or top 20 in best classroom experiences in instant review. Uh, so definitely to have that really great kind of accolade, um, especially for a small liberal arts school in the Midwest is really cool. Oops, sorry, there we go. We have this really great program called our Earlham Advantage, which is a funded internship or research opportunity for every single one of our students. Um, so you won't have to worry about if your internships are unpaid for, anything like that, if they're somewhere in, in the world and you can't really get to them. Um, it pays for flights, stays, any kind of programming like that. So you can have those external learning, external learning experiences without having to worry about, you know, costs and things like that. A little bit about our student life. So we do have 60 student-like organizations on campus and it's really easy to start your own club or obviously we have 60 so you can continue any of those clubs that you might have in high school into your collegiate career. Um, we have 17 men's and women's division three NCAA sports teams. So definitely continue your athletics in a smaller D3 setting, um, something that you can look into. And then plenty of residence life opportunities, whether that's, um, we do have eight residence halls on campus. We do have themed friendship housing, which isn't themed like stories of fraternities. It's more like different clubs and majors and things like that. Um, we do have apartment style living and we are a four year residential school. So it just adds to the community aspect because very small amount of students who do commute. I think it's around 10%. Um, so you're having everyone, you know, be in the dorms together, eat in the cafeteria, have fun in the clubs and all that good stuff. 
This slide talks about our admissions process. So um, we did just extend our deadline. So if you guys are still looking to apply to school, still wanting some more options, definitely thinking about Earlham. We're on the Common App, it's free to apply. Um, we also do have our own Earlham application as well. Um, we asked for all the you know, criteria, extracurricular activities, personal essays, high school transcripts. We were an established test optional school. So we are already equipped to um, know what to expect if you wanna submit your test score or not. Um, we really pride ourselves on looking at your application holistically. So grade and testing isn't the end all be all of your application. Um, and then we have plenty of really great financial aid opportunities, whether that's merit scholarships, your need-based aid, um, and anything for our international students as well, because it's a little bit different, especially coming, you know, to a whole new country for school. All right, thank you guys for coming in, uh, or coming today. <laughs> um, we are open for in-person visits and virtual ones too, because I know you guys are a little far, um, but it's always open if you guys are interested. And share. Great, thank you so much, Earlham College. And next up, we have Hamlin University. Hello, hello. My name is Meg. I'm an admission counselor at Hamlin. Super excited to spend a little bit of time telling you guys about Hamlin tonight. So Hamlin is a small liberal arts college located in St. Paul, Minnesota, really in the heart of the Twin Cities. We've got about 2000 students in our undergrad programs. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned, we're in the heart of the Twin Cities, which is really great for our students for a number of reasons. Not only is there really great recreational things to do, like take in the art scene in the Twin Cities, participate in outdoor activities or attend professional sporting events, but there's also really great professional development opportunities. And that's something we really emphasize for our students. So being able to network and take advantage of internship opportunities in a larger city is a really great reason to Come to St. Paul. We're located about a half a mile from the state fairgrounds in St. Paul. So if you know where that is, you know where we are. A little bit about our students. I get asked quite often, what does the typical Hamlin student look like? And honestly, it's really hard to define the average Hamlin student. Our students come from about 37 different states, 42 different countries. Um, and we have a pretty diverse student body, especially for being a small liberal arts college in Minnesota. So uh, this past year, about 52% of our incoming students self-identified as first-generation college students. So we serve a really large population of first-gen students. Um, and we also had about 40 7% of our incoming students self-identify as students of color. So we've got students coming from all different walks of life, which makes a really dynamic campus experience and classroom experience for our students. For academic programs, we've got over 50 areas of study. We're really well known for legal studies, criminal justice, criminology, business, education, and psychology are kind of our main programs, but we've got a lot of really great stuff going on. One of the things that we emphasize through our liberal arts curriculum is not only being able to explore a lot of different areas of study, we allow students to take the opportunity to check things out for the first two years before they declare their major. But we also emphasize hands-on learning opportunities. So all of our students will complete either a research project, an internship, or a study abroad experience during their time at Hamlin. Um, most of this is through what we call our LEAP credit. And of course, you expect research to be in the sciences, but we have students doing really strong research projects in all of our areas of campus. We send one of the largest delegations of students to the National Conference for Undergraduate Research, and that's something we're really proud of as a pretty small institution. We've got summer opp paid opportunities as well as credited opportunities throughout the school year for that. And then, as I mentioned, internships are a really popular thing in the Twin Cities. A lot of our students will complete between two and three internships during their time at Hamlin. So although we encourage students do one, a lot of times they're doing multiple, which is awesome and really a good opportunity for them to build their res resume before graduating. Our Career Development Center is always available for students and alums um, and are a really great first place to start as students are looking at that. 
And then the last piece I mentioned, study abroad, we've got a lot of great opportunities for students to go abroad. Of course, things look a little bit different this year, but usually we have year long and semester long opportunities as well as J term or May term, which are kind of shorter opportunities during the month of January or May. The last thing I'll kind of mention about Hamlin is that Hamlin is very social justice and service oriented. This really comes from our Methodist tradition. You don't have to be Methodist to attend Hamlin. A pretty small population of our students are, but they've definitely emphasized social justice and service. And that's something that we've continued the tradition of doing. Uh, we have about 2000 students, as I mentioned, in our undergrad programs and our students will complete 150,000 hours hours of community service each year, which is really great. Also, our students are very civically engaged. In 2018, Hamlin had the highest national voter turnout among our students of any small private liberal arts college. So our students are really active and involved in a lot of different uh, types of social justice and service, whether that's in the classroom, in the Hamlin community, in the community more broadly, or just across the state of Minnesota. So next steps, if you're a senior, there's still time to apply. If you're a junior, definitely look at it for this coming fall. Um, we accept both our internal application as well as the common application. We require an essay within the application, a high school transcript, and a letter of recommendation from a school counselor or an academic teacher. Uh, we're test optional, so we don't require an S ACT or SAT score. Um, and you can see some of our decision deadlines there. Obviously, we're in rolling decision now, so we'll admit students as there is room in our class. We offer a really great amount of scholarship and financial aid. Hamlin's a small liberal arts college, but um, we definitely have a lot of opportunity for that. And uh, just some information about visiting. We are open to on-campus visits right now. We also have a junior program this weekend and in May. So if there's juniors and want to learn a little bit more about Hamlin, do that. Otherwise, connect with us on social media. We have students running through like a day in their life of a piper. So feel free to check that out on our Instagram page. We just had a student on our football team do one of those today. So definitely a good thing to check out. Thanks so much. Great, thank you, Hamlin University. And uh, next up, we have Regent University. So good evening, thank you so much for uh, joining all of us to learn more about colleges and learn more about um, maybe what you're looking for in a college. Uh, my name is Jeannie Getz, and I will be speaking to you tonight about Regent University. We are a four-year private Christian university. We're located in Virginia Beach, and we also offer our classes and degree programs online. Um, over 4,400 of our 11,000 students um, are undergraduates who are either taking classes online with us or living on campus or commuting to campus. So as you can see here, we also have a very diverse population. Um, our students represent all 50 states, 90 countries, and 40 different denominations. You can also see here our average test scores and our GPA, um, but at Regent, we look at the student holistically. So we're gonna consider uh, your, your uh, difficulty of classes in high school. We're gonna look at your extracurriculars. Um, also, whatever uh, else you did, activities you did in high school. Uh, we are also test optional, uh, although we do encourage students um, to submit test scores if you do have them, um, just so that you are able to give us a better academic profile of yourself. So Regent has a really rich history uh, for more than 40 years as an award-winning, regionally accredited liberal arts university uh, for nine years in a row. We are proud to say that we have been recognized by US News and World Report for offering the best online bachelor's program in Virginia. So this is a fantastic benefit uh, for our students who uh, prefer that flexibility online. And also, you know, as, for, as students are, are sort of um, are kind of understanding that, that school can happen online as well uh, now that we're in this very virtual world because of COVID-19. Uh, we have curated a comprehensive curriculum for which we are only one of uh, 23 universities in the entire nation to receive this A rating. And what that means is we're basically giving you a really great foundation um, on your general education courses. So once you start uh, those courses in your declared major, um, you're, you're well prepared and uh, you'll be successful. 
90% of our full-time faculty do hold that highest degree in their discipline. Um, and many of them are actively working in their fields. So they're gonna bring that real world experience um, to you in the classroom. Our student to faculty ratio is 17 to one. And uh, we, we value this small classroom size because I think it allows you as a student to get to know your peers more um, and also have a more personalized instruction from your professors. Um, and these relationships are invaluable as you grow uh, your network as a student and look for jobs in your chosen field. So at Regent, you will never get lost in a large lecture hall. So we realized that figuring out the finances um, is a huge factor when it decides when you decide which school you want to attend. So at Regent, we are committed to making our education affordable. So we do rank in the top 5% of most affordable private Christian colleges and universities across the country. So 86% of our undergraduate students do receive um, aid of some sort. We have a number of institutional opportunities for aid, and we do encourage our students to fill out that FAFSA to take advantage of federal aid. Um, please visit this website here on the bottom right of your screen. Um, if you're interested in region, it's a great resource and will help you break down your cost based on your individual circumstance. Uh, like I said before, perhaps you're a student who has uh, realizes during this COVID pandemic that you actually want to do your college online. Um, and so at Regent, if you choose to study with us in this way, um, your tuition is based on your case, your course load. So full time here at Regent University is 12 or more credits per semester. So with over 135 uh, different programs of study from art all the way through our STEM courses, we do offer classes in the most popular and relevant majors. Um, from associate's degrees all the way to our doctoral programs. Uh, for those students who desire to expand their knowledge using a more classical approach, um, our newly revamped Honors College offers a very challenging curriculum and collaborative environment. It's a cohort style learning. Um, it's gonna help to foster your knowledge, character, and um, your skills. So at Regent, uh, we offer our students um, and uh, alumni as well, uh, many resources to ensure your success, um, whether you're living on campus with us or you're commuting or you're studying online. One of my favorites here is the Office of Career and Talent Management. So our students and alumni can receive professional help on their resumes, learn how to interview better, um, find internships, externships, and jobs, as well as access our premium career assessments. We also understand that at um, Regent, your college experience is a 360 degree uh, uh, it involves every aspect of your life, and we do offer many opportunities outside of the classroom. So we have um, over 55 student-led organizations, including Surf Club. We are very close to the beach. Mood Court, uh, we do have a law school here uh, on campus and our student activities board. We do offer nine collegiate sports, as well as club and intramural sports. We have a state-of-the-art performing arts center where students can either watch or participate in several productions throughout the year. And if you're interested in a military career, uh, we offer several ROTC programs and scholarships. In fact, about 30% of our student body is military affiliated in one way or the other. The Regent is located in beautiful coastal Virginia Beach, um, only a short drive from the boardwalk. So in the state of Virginia, there are 38 state parks and 21 national parks. So perfect places to unwind on the weekends. Uh, Virginia is home to several historic sites as well, including nearby historic Williamsburg. We encourage you to schedule an on-campus tour, or if you want to take a, a virtual tour online, uh, we also offer that. And you can apply online uh, or call and speak to one of our admissions counselors, and they will often waive that application fee. We do operate on a rolling admission, so it's not too late to apply for this coming fall. So at Regent University, we look forward to helping you discover your future. Thanks so much for listening. All right, thank you so much, Regent University. And next up, we have South Central College. Hello, everybody. My name is Edel Fernandez, and I work in the admissions department as a prospective student coordinator. And I'm here tonight to talk to you a little bit about our institution. With me tonight, I have Mr. John Harper, who is our director of, of uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion, and also is serving currently as our interim director of admissions. So. Uh, we here in Minnesota are very fortunate to have many different opportunities when it comes to higher education. You probably are aware of the, the University of Minnesota and also the, some of the private colleges uh, that you have heard earlier today and that you will continue to listen to. And we also have what's called the Minnesota State Colleges and University System or Mint State, which we are a part of. There are 30 colleges, two-year colleges like us, 
and seven state universities. The whole idea behind this is that the credits that you take at South Central can transfer to other institutions if you desire to continue with your education. We are, like I said, a community and technical college. And uh, I want you to know that my coworker and friend, Mr. John Harper, will be paying attention to the chat. So should you have any questions about what the things that I say, by all means, let us know via the chat and he will be able to respond live. So uh, we are located on two uh, areas in Minnesota, one south and 35, which is the city of Fairball that you see picture on the screen. We are offering virtual tours at this time, because obviously, as you are aware of the COVID situation, uh, that has prevented us from doing some of the face-to-face -to -face tours at this time. We are looking to changing that as everybody else has. Our other campus is located in the city of Mankato, which is a, a, a drive away from, from the Twin Cities area as well, uh, west from the Fairville campus. And of course, like I mentioned, the, the online uh, classroom or virtual classes have been very, popular during this pandemic uh, that we live in. A um, little bit about infor information about our students. We have a little over 4,500 students and are a very high percent of the students of color. Um, we have about 53% of our students are female and about 47% are male. Diversity is very, very uh, important at South Central. Um, when it comes to the opportunities, the choices that you can take at South Central College, we have uh, over 50 technical career and professional programs. Some of the most popular uh, programs that we offer are the nursing and health science, human services and education, welding and advanced manufacturing, building and design, as well as business accounting and marketing. We do realize that not every student that comes to South Central is going to grab a book, study and take a test. We have a lot of students who are interested in doing more of a hands-on type of uh, programs. And in as little as one semester, they can graduate with a certificate or a one-year diploma that will allow them to start working as soon as they graduate, or with an option of an associate of applied science degree, they can transfer uh, onto a four-year university or continue with their education. Uh, since I'm talking about transferring, we also have arts and science programs, as well as pathways to bachelor's degree. What you have heard uh, referred as general education courses, it really means that you will be completing the first two years of a four-year degree, and then transfer into a university to finish off. And many of the institutions that you have heard from tonight and that you will continue to listen from will accept our credits as well. I talked about uh, that in as little as one semester, you can get a certificate. Uh, in a, as little as one year, you can get a diploma. And when we are looking at the two-year option, which is what we are at two-year college, we talk about Associate of Applied Science degree, Associate of Science, Associate of Fine Arts, as well as the AA degree or the transfer pathway that, that I mentioned um, being the first two years of four-year degree. Many of the things that we have are available to all of the students in Minnesota, uh, specifically through the PSEO program. So if you are a 10th grader, junior or senior in high school, we strongly encourage you to take advantage of this wonderful opportunity so that you are able to take college credits for free while you are also graduating from high school great, great opportunity that we have here in Minnesota. Our financial aid application is also available online and it is very simple. Financial aid comes in three different ways. So once is grants that from this day on should be your favorite word to hear. That means that it's free money that is given to you to help you pay for college. You also have heard about student loans, which we also have. Those you do have to pay back after you graduate. And we also have a third option, one of my favorite ones, which is the work study, will, which will allow you to work on campus between 15 and 20 hours a week. And you get a check in the mail every other week based on what you have done. The other thing that I wanna mention is that to help you pay for your tuition and fees, which actually is one of the lowest in the state, our foundations offer close to a half a million dollars every year through uh, our scholarships. And the, the crazy thing that people ask about, how do we get this money? It, this money comes from the area industry, but as well as us. So we, the employees also donate some money to help you, the student, get through college at a low cost. Since we're talking about cost, uh, as you can see, South Central College, as part of the Minnesota State College and University System, is based on is, is one of the most affordable ones when it comes to a one year 30 credits or 30 credit uh, uh, caseload with uh, $5,600 a year. So that obviously times two, 
versus the rest of the universities that you see there that will be times four. Applying to South Central College is very simple. It starts with you completing an application, which is available online, and I believe Mr. Harper will post that shortly. And all I need is your high school transcript to make sure that you will be admitted. Any questions that you should have, feel free to send us an email or give us a call or post them in the chat, and we will be more than glad to help you. We look forward to seeing you in the future. All right. Thank you so much, South Central College. Uh, next up, we have the University of North Dakota. Hi, everyone. My name is Rachel. I am from the University of North Dakota. Uh, the university is located in Grand Forks, North Dakota. We are a mid-sized range university. We have about 14,000 students on campus. We are the only medical school and law school in the state, and we are a research-based university. A little bit about our academics and some of our most popular and prestigious areas of focus come from our School of Aerospace, our School of Engineering and Mines, um, law school, med school, and our nursing program. So if you're interested in becoming a commercial pilot for fixed winged or for helicopters, we have a program for you. We have unmanned aircraft systems, which is anything related to large or small drones, atmospheric sciences, which many of our students go on to become meteorologists. We have air traffic controllers, um, airport management. That is a very up and coming field, a very popular program here at UND. We have seven different engineering programs. Some of our uh, most unique are our petroleum engineering, computer science, cybersecurity, graphic computer design. Um, we have geological, electrical, mechanical, chemical, um, many, many to choose from. If you're interested in any pre-health profession, including uh, medical school, we have um, a four-year plan that can help you um, prepare yourself to be the best applicant to like a dental school, a pharmacist school, an athletic training program. So you can come in and be, be a pre-PT major and we'll make sure that you have all the requisites in order to be a top candidate for your, um, your next field of, um, of work or um, education. We also have one of the most competitive um, nursing programs in the region. We've had 100% NCLAX pass or 100% passing on our NCLAX exam for our nursing students the last six semesters, um, which is well above the national average at 80%. So we are really proud about preparing our nursing students to be the best and great professionals in their field. Two things that I would say that stand out for UND is our hands-on experience in the classroom. We really value students applying what they're learning in the classroom to real life situations, and that's across the board. Um, so you will come in and you'll be flying right away your freshman year. You'll be in the lab creating different projects in engineering. You'll be working with small businesses um, in the local Grand Forks area about problems that they're seeing in their business school. So if you like to do hands-on learning, this is going to be a really great opportunity for you to grow and to learn and to really understand your major and your future in that career. 94% of our faculty hold their highest degree. Um, so you're learning from really great faculty with lots of education and experience. If you want to be in research, uh, you can do that as early as your freshman year, which is really cool. Our student faculty ratio is about 18 to 1. So your classes are right around 20 to 25 students per class. Um, we are a D1 school, so we have all D1 athletics. We have 17 um, varsity sports. Our most popular is our men's hockey program. We also have football volleyball, basketball, um, they're great, they're fun. We are definitely a college town and we definitely, um, come winter time, the hockey rink is filled and it's an experience, it is so much fun. So if you love hockey and even if you don't like hockey, I would definitely suggest coming and just checking out the athletics. Lots of other programs and organizations and clubs for you to get involved in, whether that's major related or just like a club or a hobby. Um, community service, things like that. Uh, dorms, we have two different styles of dorms for our students, a very classic dorm. Um, many universities have where you have a roommate and you share your bathroom with the entire floor. The other one that is the most popular for our freshmen and I think really attracts freshmen to our dorms is our suite style. This is a 
Um, you'll have a roommate, you'll have the desk, a bed, a wardrobe, but instead of sharing your bathroom with the entire floor, you are only sharing it with the room next door to you. So you have your own private bathroom for you and three other people. This is no additional cost. It's the exact same price as the community. So it's kind of like a no brainer. Why not live in the suite style and have your own um, bathroom? UND has a lot of fabulous construction going on on campus. We have a lot of restorative work coming on for our library. We are breaking ground on new freshman dorms this summer. We have a brand new student union opening this fall where there'll be a rooftop terrace and a full Starbucks and a Chick-fil-A and a Panda Express. We're getting a brand new business school the fall of 22 and a new um, athletic field um, that's breaking ground this summer. So lots of amazing construction going on. If you are a sophomore or junior, uh, you would be coming to UND at a perfect time when everything is finished. So uh, everything will be updated and new and beautiful. Um, on average, we're about $4,000 less than the national average. We have reciprocity with Minnesota. Um, every degree is a little bit different based on what you're studying. So a biology student will be paying a little bit different than a chemistry student just based on the, the labs that you're taking. Um, but if you're interested in your specific tuition, I would go online and check us out. We have enrolling admissions. So if you're a senior, you have time to apply. Uh, for juniors, you can apply as early as August 1st and you'll heal back from us within a week or two or on the Common App or you can apply online at our website. Thanks everyone. All right, thank you so much University of North Dakota. Uh, next up, we have the University of Wisconsin Stout. All right, welcome. My name is Erin Kinsala and I'm representing the University of Wisconsin Stout in Menominee, Wisconsin. So UW-Stout is a four-year public university, like I said, located in Menominee, Wisconsin. We have just under 8,400 students on our campus. 86% of them are undergraduate and 14% of our student population are graduate students. Our average lecture class is between 20 and 25 students and our average lab size is around 18 to 20 students. All of our students are taught by academic instructors. Our student to faculty ratio is around 18 to one. Here is an aerial view of our campus. We're about 120 acres total. Um, we are located right in downtown Menominee surrounded by Lake Minoman. All of our academic buildings surround our freshman and sophomore residence halls. Um, from end to end, you can really get to, uh, through campus in about three to five minutes. So one of the things that makes us really unique is that UW-Stout is a polytechnic university. And in 2007, we became Wisconsin's polytechnic institution. And really what that means for a student is we combine um, applied learning with a liberal arts approach. We give all of our students a hands-on experience and they really learn by doing. So we offer a really compre comprehensive curriculum that prepares our students for professional careers. We have a 98.8% employment um, within six months of graduation or students are continuing their education. We also um, blend theory with practice to produce innovative solutions to real world problems. All of our students are out in the industry before graduation doing an internship. We also are the only UW institution that is a laptop campus. So part of your tuition, you will get a brand new computer with about four to $6,000 worth of software for you to be successful in the classroom, the labs, and it's your own personal computer. You get a new one every two years and then our students do keep that computer once they graduate. We also host one of the largest career fairs in the Midwest. We work really closely with businesses and industry um, to help benefit our students and grow the economy. Let's talk about student involvement. So we really have some really great organizations. We actually have over 160 of them. Um, we have anything from like leadership opportunities to LGBTQIA programs. Um, we employ about 2,500 students to work on our campus. We have performing arts, student organizations um, that involve like Greek life, cultural and identity groups, sports clubs and recreation, and much more. 
We have a performing arts minor. We also have a vocal choir, concert band, pep band, jazz band, and we have a wonderful theater. We are the only Wisconsin school that has a collegiate esports program. We just started last fall of 2020. Um, so it is almost a year uh, through and we have a gaming lab on our campus. We have a game design major at UW Stout. That's a really big hit. And so this esports program has really taken off. We also have one of the largest schools of art and design in Wisconsin and Minnesota. So we have a lot of art galleries on campus. We have majors like graphic design, and interactive media, interior design, industrial design, studio art, um, game design and development and animation. We also have a ton of fashion shows because we have a wonderful retail and fashion program. And so um, you can see in this photo that we have students displaying the fashion that they created throughout the year. We also are a Division Three University, so we have um, we play in the WIAC conference, the Wisconsin Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. We have 18 varsity, varsity athletic sports. We compete in a great conference in Division Three. You can see all of the sports that we offer there on the right hand side. We also offer over 20 sports clubs and a ton of intramurals. We have a lot of study abroad programs. We have over 40 countries that students have been to. We also have a national student exchange program where if you're not looking at going overseas but wanting to stay in the United States, we have contracts with over 200 universities in the US. You pay our in-state tuition to go to school at that university. So here in Wisconsin, uh, we do, I believe that we are one of the best bangs for your buck in the Midwest. And the reason why I say that is because we have reciprocity with Minnesota. Um, so when you're looking at our tuition and fees, everything is included in that $10,300 roughly. We are a per credit university and everything's included. So your textbooks, your laptop, student services, so counseling services, math and writing centers, tutoring services. We also have a technology services because we give all of our students a computer. We wanna make sure that if anything goes wrong with those, we can fix that for you. We also have a bus transportation that goes anywhere around city limits of Menominee. Your double room in the most popular meal plan will be about $7,600, bringing your total to about 17, nine, 18,000. Now we do have a two year live on requirement at UW Stout. So all of our students, freshmen and sophomores are required to live in the residence halls. So um, we do have financial aid and scholarships available. Uh, what I do recommend to all of my students every October 1st, fill out the FAFSA, it's the free application for federal student aid. Over 80% of our students get financial aid. We have a ton of scholarships. We also have merit scholarships, 22 ACT and a 3.0 will automatically get you um, a, a merit scholarship at Stout. And then our application opens August 1st. We take that Common App or the UW System application. We do not require the ACT or SAT, it is optional. We need your high school transcripts. We do a holistic review, so please um, send us everything that you can. We take into consideration non-academic factors, GPA, grade trends, senior class rigor, and then we make a decision. I can't wait to see you on campus. We do take visitors Monday through Friday, 9, 11, and 1 o'clock. Thank you for joining, and go Blue Devils. All right. Thank you so much, uh, University of Wisconsin Stout. So we've got about, if my math's right, about seven minutes left here. Uh, so what I'd like to do now is just ask each of our presenters to maybe turn their cameras back on and let's do a little round robin Q&A. So the question is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And why don't we go ahead and start with Earlham College? Yeah, I would say like the biggest advice I could give you is definitely like contact your advisors if you have any and every question. Um, we're definitely here to help you in every single way possible, um, whether it's about the schools or about, you know, the applications process, financial aid, anything like that. So yeah, just feel free to reach out to your individual counselors. Um, for me, I would say definitely um, come into the college experience uh, with an open mind, uh, really try things out. College is a time where you can really get to um, explore and be creative and you'll discover new things about yourself that you probably didn't even know before. So it'll be a great way for you to explore majors, um, explore what your interests um, are. So um, yeah, just come in with an open, um, open idea and concept of um, 
just embracing all of the experience that college has to give you. Great, I will go next. Um, I would say I would create um, a new email address that is specific for your college search process. It's so easy to get um, all these emails from all these awesome universities and colleges and they get mixed up with your personal email and then you don't end up opening them and a lot of them will have great information. So just to kind of organize yourself while you're still in the search process, I would just go to Gmail or, or you know, a free service and just create a brand new account for yourself. And that's the uh, uh, email address you give to all your colleges and universities during your search. One of, one of the things that I would strongly recommend all of you is to actually, when, when, when possible, go visit that university, go visit that college. Um, you know, we spend, uh, all of us spend a significant amount of money putting together brochures for you. And I'm sure you probably have stayed at that hotel that looked great on the brochure and it wasn't quite when you, were, when you got there. So go visit, talk to the students, talk to people that work there, talk, talk to people that go there and don't ever forget to apply for scholarships and, uh, and financial aid. Meet with somebody and visit as many, uh, as many colleges as you are able to. I think I'm up next. Um, I always tell my students, uh, whether they're looking at University of North Dakota seriously, to always create a list of what they want to experience in the next four years or whatever type of college experience they're looking for. If they write that list, um, that will really guide them and how they look for colleges, how they visit them. They will just frame their lens um, and allow them to think about what was it, what was it going to look like for me to be at this university and the list that I have created, like, is this, is this something that matches or is it not? So I think that will really show you what you value and what you really want. And so you're not going to choose maybe a university that doesn't have that. It's just a great way for you to kind of get that ball going. It's tough going last. <laughs> you all took my answer. No, don't be afraid to uh, you know, with today's day and age, you can easily meet new students before you even land foot on campus. So don't be afraid to join the Facebook page of um, the class that you're, that college that you're going to. It's a great way to get connected to other students that potentially are in your major or the same club that you want to join when you get to that college. So um, don't be afraid to reach out and introduce yourself to new students. Great, thanks. And uh, maybe we'll go slightly off script here because I noticed there was a question in there and it might be a good question for everybody. Uh, the question was specifically for North Dakota, but for everyone else, are you doing in-person visits this summer? Yeah, we are currently doing in-person visits and uh, um, we would probably do them over the summer too. So um, if you guys want to come down, we've had a significant amount of students from Minnesota come. Um, but we're also doing virtual tours and info sessions and stuff like that too, so. Yeah, we're doing virtual or we're doing virtual and in-person visits right now. And I anticipate we'll continue to do that over the summer. We're doing individual uh, appointments only. So obviously it's a pretty safe uh, experience. Regent's also doing um, in-person tours. I think we're limiting it right now just to um, like families, family groups um, with masks and stuff. But um, yeah, we're in person right now as well. Well, I guess that means South Central College is the odd college out. Um, we are not currently doing in-person visits. However, we have revamped our virtual tours so that a, if you ever want to take a virtual tour, you can go to our website and you can check out either the Faribault campus or North Mankato campus. Or B, if you sign up to do a um, live virtual tour, you'll have either myself, Mr. Edo Fernandez, or somebody from our admissions team walk you around the college and the campus and actually take you to the academic program of your choice. We are aiming to have in-person visits sometime in July. Yes, UND is open for on-campus tours Monday through Friday, uh, multiple times a day. I think there's four that you can choose from. We, depending on your academic interests, we do have specific Saturday visits. We have an upcoming one for our med and nursing um, students, an aerospace day, 
we had just an engineering um, Saturday visit. So depending on what you're looking at, if you want a, an academic that's focused on your, your desired major, that might be a really good option. And then the summer we'll have visits the same format Monday through Friday. And UW Stout is also taking in-person visits. Um, we take on Monday through Friday at 9, 11, and 1 o'clock. We have a max capacity of 12. We have a wonderful visit where you meet with an admissions counselor and get about an hour campus tour. Summer, we will be doing visits Monday through Friday and then picking up again in the fall. Great, well, thank you, everybody. I, I wanna say a big thanks for all of our presenters today, as well as thank you for joining us today. Um, just so you know, when you close this window, there's going to be a link to a very quick four question survey. Uh, so we'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide on today's session. Um, also, this was one of just many different sessions uh, being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions too. Uh, and in about a week, you'll be able to find this sessions recording as well as all the other session recordings at the website that you can see right there, strivescan.com slash Minnesota. All right, thank you everybody. Thank you for joining.